On this episode of What's In My Pocket, Mobile Gaming Edition, these accessories take your skill level from like here to just about here, but they're also really useful too. So let's check it out. Starting off this journey, the small and minimal bag of choice, my nutsack. I, I mean, the bag is called nutsack. <clears throat> this is their MagSatch 11, made of a wicked feeling wax canvas and a heavy duty leather combo. But let's slow our rolls. Let's talk about mobile device first. It's the basis of this whole theme, and it goes to the new iPhone 11 Pro with our first accessory already attached, a pop socket pop grip. Now for the two and a half people that don't know what this is though, it's basically a round button that you can pull to pop open, creating a cone shape for you to comfortably squeeze like this. On the bottom, there's some sticky stuff, which you guessed it, goes directly on the back of your iPhone or any flat hard case. Now, if you do choose a naked iPhone like I do here, you'll have to install a special plastic sticker they include first for the pop grip to stick on firmly. But once on, squeeze and well, bam, it ain't going anywhere, which is the exact purpose of it. Now, it does add a little bulge to your phone, but thankfully it still sits flat doing so. But for anyone playing Candy Crush, Sudoku, or whatever casual game noobs play, it's generally with a single hand and we all know the fear of holding something one-handed which is why the pop grip is so important it won't make you any better at solitaire but it does give you the confidence to hold your phone while you wiggle and reach your fingers around the screen of your slippery iphone plus when you're done raging at angry birds it even doubles as a phone stand extra useful points and finally you've got a range of designs to choose from to express your inner geek or just completely customize one yourself to really show off now moving into the actual bag that lives up to the mag satch name the front cover utilizes actual magnets to keep it shut, but evidently also makes it very convenient to open up and reach into. So starting with its single quick access pocket along the front, covered with a flap for security, but also from liquid seeping through. Inside, I store items I want to reach on the fly, like these Tautronic Sound Liberty 53 wireless earbuds. This pill-shaped box is fairly small and houses some clean looking blacked out earbuds. It's got a magnetic door, takes micro USB to charge, and surprisingly feels really good to hold. The earbuds themselves are securely held in with magnets too, and right off the bat, I am 100 and 27% there for the all black design. These are like the Apple AirPods cool looking big brother, while also only costing a third of the AirPods. But more importantly, has in-ear plugs that include different sizes for all ear types. You tap it to operate so there's no buttons to fiddle around with or push into your ear. It's just a and it works. Plus it's rated up to five hours of playback time, which is more than enough for any gaming session, which you shouldn't even be playing that long. You should go outside and stare at the sun for a while. Plus with the charging case, you can get up to 40 hours in total, which is great because you can go to the gym, maybe do some actual physical activity, uh, you know, sweat a little, which is perfect because they're IPX7 rated. So no matter how much you sweat, like I do, it's gonna be perfectly fine. They pop into the case magnetically and stay securely in place. These are an affordable, great sounding, and for anyone waiting for a blacked out AirPods alternative, this is it. Next, a battery, because you need to stay juiced up while laying the smack down on Farmville. This is the RAV Power 10,000 milliamp 18 watt PD portable charger, but you gotta combine it with this, the chiffon multi USB cable with several inputs connected onto a single USB cable, micro USB-C and lightning all in one. It means you're able to charge your phone, gaming accessories and the Tautronic Sound Liberty 53 all with a single USB-A output on the charger. Now that's convenience on the go, but it doesn't end there with the new iPhone 11 Pro including a USB-C to lightning cable straight out of the box, you're also able to utilize the 18 watt charging port on this sucker for a quickie session in the washroom. The battery itself is quite slim but tall, like holding a second slightly fatter phone in your hand. This makes it easy to slide it into your pants pocket, but also comfortable to hold them together while charging too. I just dig the all blacked out look too. Combine that with the chiffon cable, you can keep all your gear charged while gaming on the go. This next one is for the nostalgia points or just true geeks or nerds out there like myself. From Replicade, this is a insert coin keychain that lights up just like the retro arcade machines you could never afford to play as a kid. It's got some heft to it, made of a metal frame. This looks like the real deal. And for those too young to know what this is, we used to have to pay every time we wanted to play a single game. We didn't get to just watch an ad and play for free unfortunately. Plus, 25 cents back then is like $5 nowadays. This just makes for a fun gaming keychain to show off your priorities in life, aka you still live with your parents at home, which I do too. 
no shame. Now that's the quick access with plenty of room to spare for more, but moving into the main pocket, also protected with a cover and zippered up. Inside is lined in a nice soft cotton-like feel with two large sleeve pockets measuring about five inches in width. Great for larger items like phones and wallets to stay organized. Then the rest of the pocket is just a large open space about two inches in depth, plenty to store larger items like an umbrella, bottle, or large enough to even fit an iPad. Finally, there's a full length back zippered pocket. It is on the tighter side and in direct contact with the back panel, so avoid anything too sharp in here. Otherwise, a fairly simple interior, but still offering some options to stay organized. So packed up in the sleeves, this Adonit Snap 2 stylus. Made with a aluminum frame and a really thin tip, you may be wondering why this is a gaming theme. Well, thanks to the solid construction and really, really thin profile due to its flat booty all around, it's still tall enough for day-to-day -day sketching and writing, but more importantly, it gives you a competitive advantage in drawing games. Especially if you've got some chubby fingers like myself, the thin tip helps tremendously with accuracy. Like I said, due to the tiny footprint, it's still really useful as a regular stylus for jotting notes or sketching brilliant ideas down. It doesn't even end there. With the built-in button, this stylus connects through Bluetooth and can even double as a camera remote. Oh, and you thought that was it? Well, think again, because with the built-in magnets, it even snaps onto the back of your iPhone for easy storage, but also includes its own magnetic strip for cases too. And yeah, that's it it's useful enough as is. Now for the more serious gamers, mainly FPS games like PUBG, Fortnite, or the new COD Mobile, this Fly Digi Stinger is one of the best add-on triggers I've tested. Not only is it well built with a plastic frame all around, it's got a super satisfying click to it. It utilizes a spring clamping system to mount and has rubber padding all around to avoid damaging your device, a nice little detail giving it that premium feel. The trigger itself is actually electronic too, which allows it to perform what this switch on the side is for, multi-clicking. A very useful feature to give you the edge in FPS games, so snapping and aligning the trigger onto the end of the phone. With a single push of the trigger, you can see it activating the screen over and over again as if I were multi-tapping myself. It's great for weapons that limit you to burst or single fire. This essentially enables you to auto shoot on them. Plus with the added trigger, it frees up your focus on screen to aiming and allowing a dedicated finger for firing, which in theory should improve your chances of chicken dinner. They charge through micro USB, but I have yet to need to since I've started using them as they're rated for up to 80 hours of battery life. And better Better yet, you can double it with a matching trigger and ergonomic design for the opposite hand too. Easily clamping onto the phone, the rubber inserts are designed to avoid any buttons, so you're able to slide them around in any position on the phone you're comfortable with. You can aim with one, shoot with the other, reload, jump, whatever you want them to do, it's all customizable to your gaming needs. This is for the even more intense ones. For those who love playing on the highest frame rate and quality, this is the Fly Digi Wasp Wing, a suction cup mini fan designed to stick onto the back of your iPhone. It's got three levels of fan strength and a cool little light show that can be turned off if you don't want to feel like a rave party or something. But the three suction cups do a really good job staying on and it does one thing cool your damn phone down. Because the higher the frame rates, the more power the phone needs, therefore causing it to heat up. Plus, thanks to the minimal design, it can be combined with the Fly Digi Stingers 2 for the ultimate lightweight gaming setup. But I know what you're thinking, and yes, if you get sweaty palms while playing, this does cool your hands down too. Or, you know, just go wash your hands in cold water and soap or something. Made of plastic all around, it's really lightweight, so you forget it's even there. But keeping your iPhone cooled also just ensures it lives a happier life too. Now, when intense games are involved, more of the iPhone's brains are used, which means it does drain its energy much quicker. That's where this tiny RAV Power 61 watt PD wall charger is useful. This little guy fits in the base of my palm, is about the size of an AirPods case, but has this little hole in here that matters. Outputting a whopping 61 watts, this will fast charge whatever you plug in. So unfolding the prongs, plugging this little cube in, and with the Apple provided USB-C to lightning cable, well bam. Leaving it to charge just 5 minutes, increase the battery by 7%. So if you plan on having some long gaming sessions on the go, it's no hassle to carry this around to quickly charge up so your mom can still call you to come home for dinner. Unfortunately, when you want to charge and play, that's a whole ergonomic issue in itself that I think the Rockspace 180 degrees lightning cable has solved. Although it can't provide a fast charge through USB-C, it's this angled lightning connector that matters. Since typical straight wires always get in the way when playing anything, a angled lightning cable just GTFOs out of there while still keeping your phone charged through your fourth hour on my 
Minecraft. Better yet, the cable has a built-in suction cup organizer that keeps it from dangling around too much, and the cable itself is braided, giving it a durable feel. So combined with the Rad Power 10,000 milliamp battery, you can play on the go without that pesky wire getting all up between your fingers. Lastly, this is for the advanced, the ultimate mobile gamer, or the worst, because you need all the advantage you can get. This is the Fly Digi Wasp 2, an add-on gaming controller, which right off the bat, its first benefit being how small the whole package is. It's built really well with plastic and rubber throughout for added grip and to prevent scratching up your phone, and the backside has an optional add-on trigger button for even more ways to customize the way you play. The controller can stay this small thanks to the clamping system that only connects to the end of your iPhone, and connect it does, providing a firm grip once it's locked down. You connect the controller through Bluetooth so there's no wires to deal with, then turning it on on the bottom, and using the Fly Digi app, you can customize every button and map it to click anywhere on the screen. This means you're able to use this for practically any game with as many inputs as you want. The added grip is comfortable, doesn't bulk up your phone when playing, but it does require you to remove any case you have on. Now it wouldn't be the ultimate setup if you didn't completely customize, like adding on a stinger for yet another hardware button, and with so much intensity, you gotta keep things cool with the Fly Digi Wasp Wing fan attachment. Bang bang, this, in my opinion, has you covered to dominate any type of game. Of course, everything else works in conjunction too, staying charged with the rock cable and not having it get in the way, and for some crispy audio to hear every footstep in the game, you can throw on the Sound Liberty 53s. All combined, you get the multi-tap trigger advantage, a comfortable grip with a joystick and multiple bind inputs you can customize to your liking, a fan to not only cool your phone down, but also your damn wet hands, and you'll never get a low battery warning mid-game, thanks to the 180 degree cable combined with the RAF power portable battery. You've got every advantage a mobile gamer can ask for without having to cheat. You should never be called a noob again, because you spent a lot of money on this setup. Now when you're done poning others, the back trigger is removable for easier storage, and you can charge it up through USB-C too. It's on the pricey side, but you're really paying for a premium build quality, ergonomic design, and actually useful gear. Plus, it comes with a hard shell carrying case that has enough room to carry all your gaming peripherals in one place while staying protected. But personally, I think one of the main benefits is just how small this is. You can throw this in your pants pocket and start poning noobs while you wait for the bus or something. And that's the Nutsack MagSatch 11, a beautiful combination of canvas and leather with its minimal and smaller design, making it great for daily commuting and lighter loads. The Tautronic Sound Liberty 53 in that all black stealthy glory, all the Fly Digi gaming accessories to impress your friends with your newfound skills, and the RAF Power 10,000 milliamp PD battery to keep you going and going and going. Everything easily packs inside the MagSatch 11 with a pocket for everything and plenty of room to spare. The bag not only looks good, but it works well with the magnetic flap keeping everything hidden, and it even has a top handle for a classier briefcase style of carrying too. That's it, links to the bag and accessories along with coupon codes in the description down below. Also, let me know what your favorite game is or what you're playing right now and maybe I'll see you on there. I rest my bag?